So we're at Inskip Point and it's pretty busy. There is a lot of people here. So Kieran's just gone to walk it to see um, if we can get in. Oh, it's just soft enough. I didn't go all the way in. I just went up and over the hill, but it's like that the whole way. What's the verdict? <sighs> I'm feeling lazy. I don't want to let the tires down, but I feel like that's going to be the death of me. Is there another one down here, too? Yeah. Go and check that out as well. Okay. Oh. It's hot in the feet. We did it. We're set up in the shade. There's lots of people over there. It kind of feels like we're potentially by ourselves as long as we only look this way. Because everyone's oh. behind us. We kind of just snuck in the front and got a nice little view. Beautiful. Sure. It's a proper campsite. So. Yeah. Don't think we don't have a shower, but we can manage. We've got our shower and our bucket. So we're going on a little bit of a mission. Check out the beach. Somewhere down this path. We've got our own little private access to our camp back there. Not bad at all. Check it out. See what's on offer. Wow, it's Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. A little bit spooky after coming out of croc country. Everything in your mind is like water, crocs. Oh, I thought you were going for a swim. Like I said, it's still a bit spooky. What do you reckon there, catch Fish, a lady? Fisherwoman. Fisherwoman? Bro. Yeah. Slayer. It's freaking lovely. Not bad, eh? It's very nice, I must Tree. say. We're gonna go for a bit of an explore. Sun. The sun's out and we're due to get a week's worth of rain. Well, they reckon a month's worth of rain in a few days, so probably 200 mils of rain. So we're going to hunker down here. We've got shelter, trees, probably struggle with the old solar, but we're up high enough that I think if it floods, we shouldn't, we should be okay. Is this the first catch of the day? No, uh, second. Just these little stupid little things. Though. You have teeth on them though. Oh shit. So I've seen some squid chasing my lure. So I'm going to try and see if we can we'll put the squid jigs on. And we'll see if we can catch ourselves some squid for breakfast. I have no idea what the time is. Don't care. Have you? Pull, just pull, pull, just slowly pull, pull, walk it up, walk it up, might be a squid. Pull, don't let it loose. You got a squid babe, pull, pull, pull. Keep walking, wind, 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 wind. Beautiful, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away! <laughs> First cast, eh? Yeah! There must be shit in there. I might not even have to put my rod in the water. See if Leanne's second cast can get a second squid. Oh, that is not like you not to catch a squid on the first second go. <laughs> Alright, have another go. We'll give you another go and then I'll have a cast. I'll put it in the same place. Okay. Probably fine it was the only one. <laughs> I've seen them all morning and you'd caught them straight away. We'll be here for another hour and a half trying to catch more.
So Leanne's on her third now. This is the third one. He's a little bit smaller, so we're actually going to stick him back. And Leanne feels better about it. Yeah. So. Well done, babe. Three squid. So I've been stung by a jellyfish whilst fishing. We think it's just a blue bottle because it was it's quite sore and it was well I didn't see I couldn't see it, I just started to sting in the water. I was only ankle deep. I don't know if you can see that there. Leanne just wants to pee on me. I just poured it vinegar over it just to just in case it was Urukanji. But because it's stinging quite a lot now we think it might be blue bottle. You're not supposed to put vinegar on, you're supposed to put hot water on there, so. Yeah. Does this thing not work, son? No. Yeah. That's about the same. So it's the squid and chips Friday. Yeah, so this is the squid we caught this morning. I've ringed it up and put a little, just put a flour and some salt and pepper on it. I've got a little bit of oil in the pot there. It's going to take a while to cook, actually, because I've got quite a lot of squid here. Got a few little chops. The jaw workout. <laughs> Stuff too well. Not too bad, really. No. No. For what it is. Tasty though. Yeah. That's like. Okay. Yeah. Have a go here. Mm. Good. <laughs> He's got the food eyes on. <laughs> Run away to the sand blow. Hello, sand blow. Just at the end of Rainbow Beach town.
<laughs> it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's so nice with the blue, blue sky. Okay, so we've had shitloads of mold growing on the camper trailer over the last, I don't know, I'm going to say a few days because it's been super, super humid. So we've um, decided that we need a bit of a clean out. So we've firstly removed our bed. Um, as you can see, just up here, there's quite a bit of growth there. Um, had a bit of a read online and apparently the best way to remove it is to use vinegar. So we've got our spray bottle of vinegar here. Um, we're gonna also use a bristle, soft bristle brush. We have a scourer, we're thinking that'll do, just to remove it, um, the lumpy bits. And then we're just gonna, yeah, just spray the shit out of the place. How are you doing there, Captain? Not too bad. It's a nice day today. It's probably the best day I've had in almost a week. Mm. Just solid rain and moisture. Look at that. Oh, yeah, just white fluffy mould, so yeah. if we can capture it and get rid of it and Most of it's quite fluffy stuff. It's a little bit of design up the top on the roof because we've got like a tropical cover, but when it's raining, the tropical cover at that, this end of the tent and the other end, the weight of the water brings the tropical cover down and it just sits on the tent. So you've got two layers where it just doesn't dry up. So this here, when it rains, this is normally in there like that. And the rain pulls, not pulls, but it just holds that down and it sits. And hence all this is becoming moldy. You nearly ready for some lunch? Yeah, I am actually. What have you been doing? Um, well, we haven't been getting much solar here, so normally we can run directly off solar, and as long as we've got good sun, we can remain self-sufficient self -sufficient off the sun, which is really cool. But lately, it's, for the last week, it's been raining, so we've been having to charge off the car. And normally if I back the car and I can plug it into the car from where the trailer hitches up, but it fill, fills up with fumes when I run the car to charge the camper. So I've rigged up another, it's a bit messy, but it's good enough. Rigged up another outlet on the front there off the battery that plugs straight into the camper on this side. So then the car exhaust faces backwards and we don't fill ourselves with fumes. So, and we've also got a solar panel on the roof of the car. Mm -hmm. Which I put on in Darwin, running through this solar controller, which charges this auxiliary battery all the time. Uh, it's actually a really good, it's a cheap one off eBay, but man, it grunts in, it, it fills this battery. I think it's better, better than our DC DC charger in the camper. It's a MPPT solar charge controller. Yeah, I know, it's, just, it's like 30 bucks off eBay, 30 amp solar controller, and it's been on there for six months now and across rivers and all sorts um and it's actually like i can run the fridge freezer with that solar panel and another solar panel plugged in through that controller off a 100 amp battery good sunshine i can run a fridge freezer run the inverter all day charging laptops cameras working on the laptop and all the rest of it and by two o'clock in the afternoon the battery's full so i don't know did something right there Opposed to the $350 one in the camper, which actually does a good job still, but I think this $30 one works better. Who knows? I don't want to say too much because it might not last as long, but so but even though even now that we're plugged in here, even without the car running, that solar panel is also charging as well as our solar panels out there. So we've got the equivalent of 360 watts of solar mm -hmm. going through. Which is awesome. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, a look around our camper trailer because I haven't done it yet. Um, just to kind of show you how we live. We live pretty comfortably. Only annoying bit that I have to say, we don't have a ground sheet for the sand. So the freaking sand gets everywhere and it's a bit it's, annoying. It's a little bit of a pain to be honest, but this is our roughing it. Yeah. Am I allowed in here with sandy feet? Yes, just bring the camera in and show them around. 
downstairs and the camper. We have our bed here to the left. Lovely space. We have a light up along there. It's lovely. Nice windows for ambient lighting and some fresh breeze. We have our fan, which is a lifesaver. It runs off the 12 volt, uses bugger all power, and makes it bearable to sleep at night time. 30 bucks, so good. More windows, all the way around. And we have our couch. And our table. These mattresses that come with these campers are shocking. That's the original mattress. Not much to it. So we put a egg topper on it and also a is it it's not a down topper, it's a it's a base mattress protector. Spongy like a almost like a duvet duvet type duna type thing under there as well. And it's actually, to be honest, pretty good. Rather happy with it, not that. Oh, it feels so nice and clean in here. This is our kitchen. Leanne, do you want to show them our kitchen? Yep, this is our kitchen. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we have a sink with some running water. All right, which we're getting low on when they're going to fill up. It's our handy dandy dish rack. All right, full of stuff. We have a three burner stove top. So this just slides out, so even when you're yep. on the road you can just slide it out and just cock yep. away. So the whole thing just goes back in there. Great. We have drawers for plates and cups and stuff. All of our dishwashing stuff goes under there. We have a drawer full of utensils. utensils. The thing slides in and out as well, but lately this is what we've been using to store our shower stuff. Because we have a shower right here at night time. We fill up a bit of water out of, the, out of our tank, heat a litre or so to warm it up. Mm -hmm if we need to. Sometimes we don't even need to do that. And then we have a shower. Uh, we've got a button over here. Nothing oh, look like at that. that. So we have a shower like that, basically. It's actually pretty good. We have a shower between both of us for about five litres of water, so mm. we're getting uh, pretty good at that. Shower. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although lately it's been pissing with rain, so we fill the bucket up with rain water and have a whole bucket. And that is just... I don't even know how to explain it. Over here is we have our... We'll start with this drawer. This is like our food drawer kind of this is like what we use it day to day random storage up here we keep canvas poles bits and pieces that we need it's a bit hard to get to that one and then that slides out and we have our fridge here So we've just packed up and we're ready to hit the road for Brisbane. Um, super hot packing up so we decided to come down here for a swim and oh my god, like typical, it is just amazing. The day we're leaving we're like what the hell, look at this place, what are we doing? Why are we leaving? made a grave mistake in leaving this place. Especially if you go down northern Brisbane for Christmas, I don't know. This would have been way nicer. We're so fixated on finding work. So really we don't want to leave. But there is supposed to be shitty weather again tomorrow and then for the weekend so it's just a day to tease us as we leave. But yeah we've got to make progress. We're moving down to northern suburbs of Brisbane to get work. Hopefully. We need work. <laughs> What do you reckon, little mischief? Yeah, we need work. I really need work. This place is just so nice. Look at the colours of the water. Join us next time as we set up camp in Brisbane, get prepped for Christmas, explore the local area and city, and continue our dreaded search for jobs. As always, hit the like button if you enjoy what we do, and feel free to leave us a comment. We love hearing from you guys.
and a big thank you to our subscribers for your continued support. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our adventures.